Okay, as you've seen in the intro, you need very few parts to do this. You need a 9 volt battery, a 270 ohm resistor, a 9 volt battery clip, and a duplex phone jack. Uh, two separate phone jacks will work. I find this one easier because it's easier to connect the two jacks together, uh, which you'll find out later in this video. Okay, this project is very simple. Uh, before I tell you what to do, uh, I'm going to tell you what it does. Uh, this, Whenever you do this setup, you can plug two phones into this, and as long as each phone is off the hook, you can use them as intercoms. You can talk to each other back and forth. Uh, you can't make them ring without a tone generator. That is one thing. The other person has to know you're calling them and have to pick up or else it won't work. Uh, you can use cordless phones. Uh, you have to make sure they're charged. They do have to, the receiver and transmitter does have to be plugged into the wall. But it will work. It will work cordlessly. Uh, and all this setup will do is run voltage through the phone line for the phones to work. If you do not use cordless phones, it will, in essence, power the phones unless the phones take batteries. Which, in that case, you have to put batteries in them and then they'll work. Alright, well, that's the basis of it. Uh, now, the fun part. Okay, as you've seen in the previous section, this device will let you connect two phones and use them as intercoms. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to assemble it. And it's super easy and easy to do. And parts are really, really cheap. Uh, I think the most expensive thing was the resistor, which was maybe two bucks. Alright. As you can see here, I've connected the terminals from the first jack to the second jack. The black, yellow, and green wires are connected to each other. The red wires, however, is where the 9-volt battery clip will go. As you can see, I've uh, screwed the black wire down to one terminal on the red side. And on the other end of the 9-volt battery clip, you can see I've soldered in the 270-ohm resistor. Alright, and now... All you have to do is screw it down to the other red terminal so that all the wires are connected to each terminal. And, well, I'll do that right now. Uh, it's fairly simple. Everything's easy to assemble due to the screws. And, uh, stick the screw through the loop I've made in the resistor and screw it down. Now you can see it's connected. Uh, all the wires are connected. Uh, the jacks are connected to the right colors and everything. And then and that's it. You're done. Uh, then you basically need a phone line. I found these at the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. And uh, four of them are having a sale, four of them for a dollar. Uh, you have to use phone lines that have four wires. I, forgot to mention that. Can't just be two. It has to use all four wires. Uh, uh, use these. Connect one end of the phone, one end of the jack, and go from there. Uh, uh, gotta get this back in. But other than that, that's it. Uh, I'm going to try and post a later video of it working. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that due to in fact, I have to be on one end, and the other end will not be with anybody on it, and try and set up where you can hear me without me being in the room, or something along that line. Uh, but it's very simple, easy to do. Uh, let me know how it works. If you have any questions, send me a message. Uh, not too good at checking the comments. Send me a message, and I'll check my inbox whenever I'm on. And... I'll answer. Uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, uh, post, post YouTube responses of how you use it and what you do with it. Uh, and let me see how you did with it. Uh,
thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment.